This is our LX800 with Starlock. All right, so last fall when I talked to you about these, they were in the final stages of prototypes. This looks like it's a completely ready-to-go unit. It's not only a ready-to-go unit. It's been shipping for about two weeks. Ah. Our, our LX80 started shipping last week. All right, so those all of the scopes we've looked at so far are available now. That's correct. All right, you want to show me a couple of the details here? The main features start with our a robust German equatorial mount, transitions to our F8 optical tube that's also available with an F5 focal reducer, which will be very fast for astrophotographers. And then, of course, the smarts is our integrated Starlock, which offers full-time automatic auto-guiding, ultra-high precision pointing, and the beauty of this guider versus all other guiders is it's completely closed loop. We offer faster feedback to the telescope than competing guiders, allowing for more accurate guiding. All right, so as we had talked about this once before, the thing about Starlock is you just command it to go to an object, it slews to that object, it uses its own internal smarts to center that object precisely, and then it automatically finds a guide star and begins tracking. And down to an 11th magnitude guide star. An 11th magnitude, and you don't have to do anything other than say, go there, and it does it all automatically. So if you have a camera on there, once it's started to track and started to guide, you just open the shutter and take your picture. Focus and shoot. Focus and shoot. And set up in the field even has a computer-assisted polar alignment routine, right? It does. You can actually align this telescope in about three minutes and be guiding in about three and a half. So just take it out, set it up, and you're ready to go. We also have a drift align assist, which actually uses the Starlock to help image a star and assist a user in getting this precisely drift aligned to make sure you're not getting any declination or RA drift. All right, get the precise polar alignment that you need for really critical astrophotography. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, so I see over here you've got an LX800 mount configured with an optical tube, a refractor. What, what telescopes can you put on this mount? You can put essentially anything you want. This is our 130 millimeter ED triplet. It offers a three inch focuser, and this is for the refractor aficionados. Uh, the base telescope comes as a mount alone. It's also available in a 10, 12, and 14 inch F8 optical tubes and our ACF optics. And then of course we have our ED triplet APO that's also available. All right, so it's a 130 millimeter aperture. The F number is? F7. F7, and do you have a field flattener for it? We do. All right, so that will give you a coverage, what, on a full frame uh, 35 millimeter type camera? It's designed to hit the larger sensors and be able to give full frame illumination. Wow, that's nice. And you said you can have the, uh, your regular ACF optics all the way up to 14 inches on the LX800 mount. That's correct. And the nice thing about the cradle is the fact that you can actually transition this from a Vixen style dovetail mount to a Lost Mandy style dovetail mount, which is moving an accessory rail. Ah. So any type of telescope that you've got that's got a standard, what's standard in the industry for telescopes, dovetail, will fit on this mount. That's correct. So I know you've got some new stuff over here that's brand new. Are these being unveiled here at NEAT? They are. All right, you want to tell me about this? Yeah, I'm really excited.